What's up there YouTubers and fellow riders, the Kim is back at it again, cooking up another DIY for you in the garage, this time doing the dreaded compression test. <laughs> um, this is a quick things going over, when you get your compression test kit or if you have one or you borrowed one like I did from a buddy of mine, a couple of things in here that you're going to see when you get your kit and um, for you to know and, and to help uh, make this as painless as possible. Um, you're going to get a, a set of different size uh, fittings here and each of them have different threadings for uh, different types of uh, spark plug holes uh, deep inside the well. Um, of course you can't see the threading size inside the well so what you're going to do is once you remove the spark plugs from the um, from the cylinders you're going to go ahead and take your spark plug and match it to the size threading that you need. Now this is of course a very fine threading and uh, as you can see none of these here match up to that to that size threading and um, I actually have one the, the one that I need already on here as well so if you can take a look at it this is how you're gonna see what size uh, threading you need an adapter you need in order to get down to into that well once you get the adapter size it's gonna look like this you're gonna go ahead and screw it on to your to your hose and um, get that all prepped and set um, of course you got your your gauge right here your compression gauge you also gonna want to take a look at your spark plugs and see what kind of condition they're in that tells you a great deal of how your bikes running uh, either too too lean or too rich you know uh, depending on on the color of this of the uh, I forget what this is called um, at any rate um, yeah as you can see right here mines are a little bit dirty and foul so I'm gonna go ahead and clean those up as well once I'm done with the compression test but that's just part one of of that part after you're done with this getting the correct fitting put on here now your kit is going to come with some rubber washers hopefully yours does and that's just to create a tight seal at the bottom end here once it goes into the uh, the cylinder and you tighten that down coming over here to the bike um i've already done compression tests on uh on these three over here and um, my last one here is uh, number one or number four however you want to look at it but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sit this down in there and show you what my compression is on this last cylinder I need to do the other cylinders that I was currently doing here now you're expected to have out of the box the bike should should automatically brand new never used should reach about 160 according to the Jigsaw book, uh, I have the OAM manual. So, uh, cylinder three is not doing too bad. Two and one, eh, you know, kind of a little bit lagging. You got 10% tolerance from there, uh, so everything should be within 10% tolerance of that. But uh, for now, we're looking pretty much about even, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the last one here. I'm gonna push pause and uh, show you as I do the compression test, all right? Give me one second. Be right back. All right, YouTubers, back here at the bike. Uh, as you can see, I got the whole bike uh, pretty much dismantled here. The, remove the gas tank. If you're going to be doing this job, you, all, you apparently want to uh, remove the tank. Uh, it's or else you know <laughs> you're going to be suffering trying to get your hands in and out of here, and uh, especially trying to get this uh, tubing down into the um, into the wells here. So um, I went ahead and removed the tank. The tank's sitting over there. Um, I also inspected some of my uh, throttle bodies here, and uh, yeah, these things are dirty, man. So you know what my next job is going to be after this is uh, cleaning up these these butterflies here, <coughs> um, cleaning out the cleaning out the whole top half. Uh, I'm also probably going to be doing uh, fuel injector uh, cleaning as well. Um, but as you can see, this bike's all in pieces. So getting back to this uh, compression test, I went ahead and tied down the um, clutch lever and uh, all you're basically going to do, and I chose this one, the last one, because it is the hardest one to get into uh, because of the tight, the tight spacing in between here and here. So uh, it takes a while to actually get this in there. Be careful not to cross thread anything, you know, it is aluminum, so uh, I urge that you be cautious on that part. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Click on that, you know, no gas is cooked up, you know, all the spark plugs are all removed, and, uh, and we're ready to go.
So here we go. All right. So that's a compression test right here. We're looking about mm, a little bit under 160. So cylinder one or four, however you want to choose to look at it. I think the book says this is one, but some people go four, three, two, one. Um, at any rate, one, almost about 160 on this side. And uh, so we're looking pretty good in the cylinder. So that's a quick little overview on how to do a compression test. You can want to do one for each one. Make sure you remove all the spark plugs first before you do a compression test and uh, generally you don't want to keep this exposed I have this right now I'm very cautious about what I have around the bike but you don't want to get anything down in here um, yeah so there you go there's a quick little tutorial on how to do a compression test on your 0405 Jixxer as always see you next problem